You're, You're listening, listening to Off The Talk Podcast. Welcome. This is the Off The Talk Podcast. I am Sheck Music or Sheck. And I've got my co-host here, Nirvana Paris or at Nirvana Paris Music. Hey. So yeah, as the name of the podcast suggests, we are off TikTok. We are off the talk. And we've decided, as people have requested, we're going to do a little bit of a podcast. So this is episode one. We'll get into what the topic is about in a minute. But right now, I just want to just do proper introduction. So co-host, let's just introduce ourselves properly. I am Meshek or Shek Music or on TikTok, I'm actually known as It's His Sound. Um, basically, why have I got so many names? Well, my real name is Meshek. My producer name, because I produce music, is It's His Sound. And my artist name. You can actually find my music on Spotify, by the way, is Sheck. So that's why I've got all three different names. It is a bit confusing, but hey ho, it works. And like I say, people find us for different things. Some people want to find me for my beats. Some people want to find me for my artist stuff. Hopefully they'll want to find me for this podcast. But anyway, I ramble. Let's t- let's talk about the co-host a little bit. So introduce yourself. Okay, so I'm Nirvana Paris and I'm known as Nirvana Paris for everything, my music, everything. Um, Give us a bit more detail, what do you do? What do you mean, what do I do? All sorts. So she's an artist? Yeah, music, I do music, I do TikTok. Um, How's that going? Really good. Yeah? Not bad, yeah, I'm nearly on 10k now. Well, you'll be happy to know that... Today's topic is about being yourself and why that's important in 2020. So being yourself, when I first say that, like, why do you think I've brought that up as a topic, being yourself? Um, Because just being yourself gets you quite far in life. Well, it does. This is why I've got you as a co-host, because you're straight to the point and you're... Okay. Yeah, she's right. Being yourself, it does actually get you very far in life. And to be honest, um, recently... As you would know, Nirvana, since we've been showing people the real is, we've actually started to get a lot more traction than we're used to actually getting. Do you know what, though? We've been real on there from day one, really. Like, all my fans and followers, they say basically, like, that's why they like me, for being real. That's why they like us, for being real. Yeah, that is true. They do like us for being real. So it's not that we've changed, necessarily. No, we've not changed at all. But... as I said, like, it's about the nitty gritty just truth. The way so we've been, why, yeah. why would I say this? Like, being yourself, why would, why would I say what's changed for us that's made us be a bit more blunt about things and a bit more real? What do you mean? As what people would put it. Be a bit more... Well... Specific. To be honest, like, I would have said that being myself, like, I can personally... Well, speak from my own personal, you know what I mean? Like, I can basically say that I've been a bit more open about what our daily life's like than I probably would have been before as a music producer. Mm. And I found that I think more people have related to me more than they probably would have before because it's not even that I was trying to pretend to be someone else. It's just that I think I was finding it hard to find myself who I actually was and Mm. who I wanted to be in life. Mm. I was a bit stuck. Okay. So I knew I wanted to be a music producer and I knew I wanted people to listen to my music, but... I don't know that the the overall goal has changed for me. It's gone from me wanting people to just listen to my music and just trying to force feed it down people's throats to me actually just getting on with my life and enjoying life a little bit more, being myself and letting my music do the talking, like expressing, do you see what I mean? Mm. See, I just want to basically like be an inspiration to people. What do you mean by that? Your content? My content just the way I am as well like I don't want people to I want people to look at me and think oh, okay she's got confidence coming from someone that had no confidence yeah see this is this is what I mean I- so then jumping onto social media like TikTok itself that helped boost my confidence a bit more and obviously it's just it's a nice feeling for when people say oh, I wish I had the confidence like you because I didn't have confidence. And sometimes I haven't got the confidence, but I just go for the videos and that's what makes it look like I've got the confidence. Okay, so 
would you say that TikTok bought you the confidence or would you say that being yourself bought you the confidence? I'd say being myself, to be honest, because being myself and being able to express myself in a way that I don't care if anyone wants to judge me beyond that screen. I really don't care. Understood. And even if I've seen that person in the street, it's like they could laugh at me or they want because I'm just not bothered. No, no, I appreciate that. I think that's the right way to kind of think about it because that's exactly how I feel. Like, let, let me just, um, I wanted to kind of bring this, it's a bit of a story time, but it's it's very relevant to why I picked this topic today. Yeah. So um, how it kind of worked, it was around this time as well, in all honesty, that's the mad thing. At the time of this being recorded in terms of this podcast, so not, not the time as in AM, PM, I mean, as in the... <laughs> You know what I mean? What do you mean? I mean, like, the... the <laughs> sorry. I mean, the ba- basically, I mean, the... What's it called? Like, so the months, isn't it? Like, it's around this time. So around September time. You know what I mean? For what? For when this story <laughs> happened. Yeah. <laughs> the story I'm about oh, to tell what you. what we're doing now. <laughs> yeah, like, it's around the time, yeah? Basically, I was thinking about doing this podcast, yeah? Around this time. Yeah, oh, but it was about okay. two years ago. Okay, yeah. I know, I just completely stumbled on my words there. But you know what? I don't care. This is going to be unedited, raw. So I'm for ragging. 2020, yeah you wanted to do this for well i didn't want to do it for 2020 i wanted to do this anyway you okay. get what i mean podcast. but yeah you've always been on about talking about podcasts do you see what i mean I and i've had other about... people that have basically been telling me to do a podcast to do podcast yeah that's the mad thing they've been telling me on tiktok to do a podcast and i do, do you know what it Say is as well i'm not even gonna waiting, lie no, you've been waiting for a few people to jump on your podcast actually and that's been my that own just hasn't really happened but that's because because of my own What's the word? Like, you've not really self confidence. I've not pushed it. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing. I've not pushed it myself. Like, mm. I know, yeah, that I wanted to do those things, but I've been relying and waiting on other people. And I think, to be honest, those other people are probably yeah. doing the exact same thing, waiting and relying on me or vice versa on their, on their selves. Just and that's what stalls you in life because you know what it is sometimes, yeah, you're thinking about, oh, what are people going to think about this? How are or they going to feel about this? How should, How should I, I do it? This? It's not going to be yeah. right. It's not going to be perfect. Like, if, if people could see us recording this right now, oh my God. You <laughs> get what I mean? Like, it, the setup is ridiculous. And at some point, we will have it where we've got, like, enough room to be able to set up a camera so we can record it as well as do the podcast. Oh God, and that's that when it will be, be sick. So real, you know it? what I mean? But until then, we're going to keep trodding on. And that's what I mean about being yourself and keeping it real. Like, I know people who do music, right, that... They live just like us, yeah? They haven't really got the money to, like, fund the the music videos and stuff like that. So they choose not to. And they choose not to record songs and not to put things out there because mm. they feel like they haven't got what they what they assume everyone wants to see. But if they just be their self, they'd probably get They'll probably way get more fair, listeners huh? than me, like, if that yeah, makes sense. Because I'm... Like- I'm a producer, like coming I say. Come across like, fake or come on across like you've. Do you know what I mean? You can live, and I don't even know how to say it. It's no, nah, it's it's, it's the off, image you portray. This is yeah, what I mean, like, especially when it comes to music. Like you get what I mean, but yeah. yeah so I don't digress off the story anyway because I just left people just hanging there. But yeah, I wanted to do a podcast. Yeah, okay. and what was holding me back from doing that podcast was things that were happening in our life. Like at that time. We'll save the whole of that for another day. But mm-hmm. at that time, we was obviously becoming homeless and stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? And that was a big pressure on us at the time, yeah? And there was things that we were doing at that time that I wanted to continue doing, but I just physically could not do it because of... Just going through, like, just emotional stuff, in it? It was like, stressful, man. man. It was stressful. Yeah. But you know what it is? I never gave up hope on the fact that we would eventually be able to do it one day, yeah? Do you get what I mean? Do you know what? Telling, speaking about that, that's where I lost focus. When I was becoming homeless, I just stopped doing my music for a bit. Not fully stopped doing my music because I've got songs in my phone. Mm. But it's like I just stopped like recording and... Yeah, we both did for a little bit. It's, I think it was just because, do you know what it was? It, the heartbreaking thing was to know that it wasn't even our fault while I was becoming homeless. That's what yeah. made it so bad. And then the fact that we had to go through court battles and that, to know we won a court battle and still didn't have nowhere to live. Talking like, about the homelessness, if you guys want to check that out, it is a video on YouTube under It's His Sound. Shameless plug. What is it? Um, That's why you're the co-host, mate. So wait, search for it? Search for It's His Sound on YouTube. The Broke Producer Show. The Broke Producer Come Up Show. That's it should come up and go and watch them we're going to be adding more to them too as well mm-hmm. it's just we've got a lot of ideas and a lot of different things we've just things been doing that... so much stuff like with the baby and just 
and that's obviously it obviously all this lockdown stuff we haven't really been doing anything like that but and yeah which kind of brings me on to my to next come. that's what brings me on to my next point which is like I say from that story as well what made us change yeah it wasn't just because we were homeless and I think it was the fact that we had like a major crash like a burnout like even if we didn't become homeless I feel like all of that stuff we were doing would have, would have come to a standstill at some point and that's just because of the way we used to think and feel about our own content even the way like obviously this is going a bit personal now not too personal but even the way we was living like was focusing too much on work too much on living like right how do we live right and it was more worries about that it, it was more right in everyone else's eyes it wasn't in our own eyes it wasn't no, what we it wanted for just, our life it was what what everyone else what around we, us wanted yeah. us to be like so we was trying to make us like we was trying to basically make everyone else happy in it and then it got to the point where when we became homeless we couldn't make everyone else happy we had to make ourselves happy in it so well this is it and it's a good it. it was a good change that we made so i'm glad that we went homeless and not in a bad way but those out there that like just that don't appreciate life and don't appreciate what they've got going on do you know what i mean yeah and they don't understand i wouldn't say that being homeless was as being ourselves but there was no, I mean, like, do you know what it was be, like, being at that rock bottom yeah allowed us to just you know what be ourselves yeah. because at that point when we had nothing yeah we didn't care, care about yeah, anything why would you care what anyone thinks what anyone says yeah you don't care we were living around people that were literally like yo they never had a bath or they anything didn't like, even, yo, yeah, they, like they didn't care more than we didn't care exactly and, do you get what i mean so that we was, we we did have baths yeah like we no, cared I'm not on saying that, that but, you know what i mean like, it was exactly like we didn't really care about we were seen as like the moral people like was... in that situation because everyone else around us was just like they did not care in the world like well, yeah. even where we sit, can sit here and say we didn't care we must have cared in a little bit because yo there was some people who were down and out around us we you helped get them I mean? a lot as well yeah exactly because I think that's what I mean even some of those people the reason why they were stuck in a rut was because even they weren't being themselves they'd been trying to live a life what they couldn't keep up yeah mm -hmm. and then when they got down and out they were still trying to push to get back to that life that wasn't yeah. even them you get yeah. what i mean that do you get what i mean keep that's where the saying keeping up with the joneses comes from because that's mm -hmm. how people end up in rock bottom now we ended up in rock bottom yeah not because we can't even just blame like the landlord for example because that was the main reason why we ended up not homeless but it was because of our own accord as well because <coughs> of our mind state and our mindsets mm -hmm. how we were thinking about life at that time and what we thought was important in life at that time yeah not saying we didn't have fun at those times but we were spending too much time working on the wrong things mm -hmm. do you get what i mean mm -hmm. that was the problem mm -hmm. we was too busy helping everyone else instead of helping ourselves and that's you it. can't help other people until you help yourself that's the truth of it that's true you know what i mean so when did we start seeing the effects and the changes that made us like I say, feel like being ourselves was more important than some of the things that were like happening in our life. For example, the amount we were making each month on a salary. For example, the way we used to think that like... Do you know what? I think, obviously, I became pregnant when we became homeless and I didn't know. But I feel like it was down to that. Like, that just drove me to want to achieve more things and want to do more things in life so i think what pushed me was becoming pregnant and just thinking right that's it now i've got to just focus on what's right i suppose no i hear you that's that's a good answer really i think what made me change yeah knowing that we was having a child that made me change massively but at the same time it wasn't that that made me just that I didn't see the change then like if that makes sense like I started seeing the effects of the change right when we moved into this house where mm. we're recording the podcast now mm. or this flat sorry but yeah that's when I started seeing the effects of the change because like I felt like you know what everything we'd been through when we was in like that homeless shelter for example mm -hmm. like we'd been ourselves so much that I don't know it brought a different character out of us that's why mm. I think we managed to get out of how we were so quick because the people around us seemed like they'd been there for so long oh my god it was do you know what i mean wasn't it? and i'm sorry for them as well really because some of them are probably still in that situation now really but yeah. it's about them changing the mindsets as well you know yeah. what i mean some of them have let their they mindsets really slip so bad morning, that, though, they? exactly they weren't, really they weren't getting it. up in the mornings and they weren't like uh, applying for well, these don't places get me wrong, they was getting up in the mornings but doing the wrong things yeah <laughs> yeah but we digress we'll leave that so yeah what what is this obviously like like i said because the the topic is 
why is it important to be yourself in 2020 now all the stuff that's happened in 2020 right now right like let's go back to talking about more like job wise and work and stuff like that like now i enjoy music producing and i aspire and i will like i say make that a full-time career it's already making us money like we can say that but it's not making us enough to basically say i'm that's it we're on top i'm only doing that this is why we have to do so many things like tiktok and i have to actually write stuff for my own beats just to try and get extra income and then Mm -hmm. i have to sell sometimes the the work that i've done just to basically make ends meet you get what i mean i have to sell the bars whatever Mm -hmm. i have to do to basically you know what i mean all these extra things on top now i'm not saying that that will ever change because we're always gonna have to keep doing things but Mm -hmm. what it does mean though like i say if we do continue on the path that we're going down is even if we never do become millionaires or ever do become successful in everyone else's eyes we're, we're happy we're successful we're within successful our own successful eyes with our own family, yeah, and man, that's why that's i feel it. that's what i'm saying like i feel like it's n- it's never been more important and more apparent than in 2020 with everything that's happened doesn't matter what country you're listening listening from whoever like, you've been locked down with that's it that's, that's your it. life isn't it well you've got locked down you've got other Isolated, things have happened some everything. countries have had like some crazy hurricanes yeah there's been so many deaths this year like yeah. over just crazy stuff like it's mad but as i say that's why it's so important to be yourself because you never know when your time's going to come yeah that's and you true. never know what you're going to be able to achieve in life unless you try like there's things that we've sat back on in the past basically which is to kind of sum it up that we've not really attempted and not had a go like think about like when i made you do them music videos you did mm. two of them and literally we got like little momentum on them and they were doing well and I don't know what made us stop at the time was because it was all about perfection for us then it weren't about just getting it done like it was just all about it has to to be the best yeah for our viewers and our people that are watching and stuff and we forgot to have fun yeah (laughs) you get what I mean it was just more like some of them videos look so sick yeah but how stressful were they and how much fun did you really have none you get me I was freezing cold I wouldn't care if they'd have got a million views yeah they weren't fun to make on my other freestyle that was all right but I'd much rather sit here making stressful. content like this. This is it's way more peaceful, enjoyable. It's more family orientated. It's better. I'm not saying that we can't still make music videos and stuff like that. I'm just saying that yo, we need to bring the fun back to it. And I think that's what most people need to do with their daily lives. They need to bring the fun just back. Bring some fun in because their lives. most people work boring jobs, and that's the thing. This isn't that like a dig at that evil. This is just me basically saying that. You need to take control of your destinies again, like take control of your lives again. If you, especially if you have to work in a nine to five. Right. Can I stop you there? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Where you saying? Obviously, the job might not be like they might not be happy in that job. Yeah. I'd say yeah. To the main thing, and if you're gonna get a job, don't see it as oh, I need a job for money. Do something that you enjoy doing as well, because then one you're more likely to last in the job two you're more likely to just be happy every time you come home from work because you've done something that you've enjoyed you feel successful that you've done that thing do you know what i mean it's not hard like i enjoyed doing nursery work for example and every time i'd come home from working with the children i'd be happy because i've done something that i've wanted to do whereas when i was doing my cleaning jobs mate i was just I was annoyed all the time because I'd come home and have to clean anyway, so... Yeah, that's a good point. I know what you mean. Do you know when, what I mean? I'd be When I was working in call centre jobs, yeah, like, I used to get a lot of money for the family, but then I used to be so stressed, And like, remember, like, yeah, you need money in life, but life, you never know when you're going to go in it, and you ain't going to go spending money, are you? You're going to be going with your soul, so you've got to have fun within your soul. Yeah, nah, do you know what? Like, again, this is why you're the <coughs> co-host, because I couldn't have said it in that way. You've just summed it up in such a good way. Um, before we go like because we don't want to make these uh, podcasts too long have you got any advice for the listeners on being yourself like because obviously I've got a lot of advice well, <laughs> I'll never we, shut up <laughs> we, need, we need to get it down into a short but brief no, amount I'd of time I'd say just you literally be yourself by just letting free of your mind like however you feel and Don't be scared of letting people know how you feel. Don't be scared of doing whatever you want to do in life. Be yourself. 
That's true. And on that note, thank you everyone for listening. We know it's very budgeted. We know it's not the best podcast. You probably heard better. But right now, this is episode one. We haven't got the equipment. But as we said in episode one, being yourself is the most important thing in 2020. And right now, we've only got a budget set up. So this is being ourselves. Thank you for listening, everyone. I'm Sheck Music. If you want to follow me on TikTok, it is at It's His Sound. If you want to follow Nirvana on TikTok, it is at Nirvana Paris. Thank you. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you all enjoyed the show. See you again soon. Or would that be hear you again soon? Hear you again again soon. soon. (laughs) You're You're listening listening to Off The Talk Talk Podcast. Podcast.